Rude thing. I'm at the tree. I'm at the tree. I'm at the tree. Come on. <laughs> You're cute. So cute. <laughs> I had a bow in her hair and the little stinker kicked it off. I found her leash today. I had to borrow my cousins yesterday. We're doing that New Year's resolution. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music because it's gonna be super windy out here. this time watching Secret Life of Pets 2 for the third time trying to get Mimmel into it but she had to stop and go give Cujo a bath because he had poop stuck to his butt and Muffin is like in my lap in the chair wondering why I won't let her get down to go play with him it's because I think he's nasty. Little Miss Muffin is about to get a face trim. So those may not be able to can tell that she got a little hair cut and trimmed her face a little bit as best as I could. These are just like <laughs> this isn't choking her, it's a headband. I thought about doing a DOI on this channel of how I made these simple little headbands. It just keeps it in her hair because she hates when I put rubber bands in her hair and I don't like it either because it rats it up, but I just wanted to see like how much shorter <laughs> it is right there. She don't like that. You don't like that. You don't like that. No, you don't. No, you don't. You want me to take it out? You want me to take your hair out? You want me to take your hair out? Yeah. Yeah, he's so cute. Her bangs were so long, you guys, but it looks so pretty when it's up. But it's out of her eyes now. And you can see her pretty little pink skin. She's so beautiful. I'm so obsessed. So I'm going to end up taking this out. Be right back. So I took it out for her, and it's probably blurry, and it's not focusing. There we go. So I took it out, and you can tell the difference. But yeah, so that's what it's looking like. And... I forgot to mention earlier, Muffin had this in her foot. I didn't know this was in her foot, actually, and it's just really pointy. You can't see it. One second. You can't like, see it because it's bright. Um, but it's one of those sticky things from the burrs, and she had this stuck in between her, um, her toes. And I did not know that. I just thought maybe she hurt her paw when we were running outside. And I was so freaking worried because I was like, there's no way. Like, there's... Oh, you can see it good now. I was like, there's no way she got hurt. Like, there's no freaking way. And then I started thinking, oh, well, maybe she got like a rock in her paw. Or maybe she got a, you know, like a piece of glass or something. You probably could hear her sigh. But anyways, um, I did not know it was this. So I cut her nails because Mimmel said that it was probably her nails bothering her. Like she thought one of them was chipped, but no, her nails were like so freaking long. Like it's ridiculous. Her nails go back so fast. So I went ahead and I trimmed her nails. And she still was limping and I was like, what the heck? Like, what's going on? And um, she kept licking her paw and I believe it was like her... Her left paw, the front paw at least, and I was like, why do you keep doing that? And I was like so worried and that gives me like a huge panic attack when something happens with her that's bad that I don't know what to do and I don't know what's wrong and it just drives me insane. So I was kind of grateful that I found this in her paw. That sounds bad, but um... I'm just glad I know what it was. And it's this. It's from like a sticker that grows in the grass. And it's very pointy. It is very sharp. So I understand why she was limping and why it was hurting her. Because these little things, they hurt. And us adults and us people, like, we feel pain too from these little bitty things. So I'm just glad that I got it out in time. So yeah, that was 
earned day after walking.